This is number 28. doing a right traveling one and a half turn. So it's three half turns. And she does them on the first triple step. So if I was her, I would do rock step. I'm going to move in case my feet aren't in. I would do rock step trip pull step trip pull step. So without stopping me I lead her to go back, 
a leader forward, now a leader forward and over to the side a little bit. As she commits to this foot, as she's committed, she's already committed, she can't change it. Then I start moving this hand here to let her know I want it to go behind her. If I do that too soon, if, again, I'm her, if I did rock, step, and started leading this hand this way, she would go here. She would follow that hand. So it's a tricky lead. I lead her back. I lead her forward. I lead her forward again and stepping this right foot in front of her left. So I bring this hand over a little bit. And she's committed to that. And once she's committed to that, and she can't help but she's going to do that, then I start bringing this hand around this way. She steps this foot forward with the toe out, which puts her in position to do her traveling turn. She does that traveling turn. So if we did it facing you, so that she's facing you, of course, I'll get out of the way to the side. Rock, step, trip, step, trip, step. I've got right to right. I might be just a left underarm turn, changing the hand to get back to the regular hand position. Now, I might not do that. If I have right to right, and if I wanted right to right, for the next move I'm going to do, which is a move I'm going to teach you next, we would start in right to right. So I'm already right to right, so I wouldn't change that. I might still lead her in a left underarm turn so she could undizzy herself, and I just lead through that in the right to right, keep this hand away so she knows that I'm just keeping this hand. 